Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. That's a Michelin star pigeon like. Mmm. 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 Bonjour, Vogue France. C'est du Alipa. Je suis ici euh, dans un restaurant délicieux avec Hélène Darroz, euh, chef extraordinaire. Thank you so much. Oui. C'est trop mignon. It's not every day that I get to sit in front of a camera and just eat, so <laughs> let's do it. I'm starving. So we go for the first dish. It's like an amuse-bouche. Oyster, mm -hmm. caviar, and white cocoa bean à la royale. Mm. Put your right or left hand, I don't know okay. what is the easiest for you, straight on the table like that, okay. and you will taste à la royale. So that is a little bit of plankton and the white cocoa bean. And then we will put the caviar. You will have to put that in your mouth. D'accord. <laughs> right. My lipstick's going to be all over my face. Mmm. It's, it's a balance between the saltiness of the, the oyster and the caviar mm. and the sweetness of the white cocoa bean. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely delicious. <laughs> okay, you want yeah, another no, one? I'll, <laughs> okay. wait, I'll wait and see what's to come, but maybe at the end. Okay, okay. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I've got lipstick all over my hand, it was a really delicious experience. I probably didn't do it in a very chic way, but c'est la vie. Honestly, the way we've started, I have no idea where we're going next. So I'm ready. Let's just see what happens. So it's about two crabs, the spider one and the brown one. Thank you so and much. And you have to go very deeply to hit everything. Okay. I'm guessing that's the spoon situation. It's too pretty to even eat. It's a big bite this one. I'm really, I'm setting myself up for failure, I think. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. I'm committing. Mmm. Oh my God. That's really delicious. I'll just keep eating until somebody takes this away from me. What I like about French food, the richness and the decadence and all the butter. There's this one French dessert that makes me crazy. Paris-Brest. I love that. I could eat it all to myself. Soup à l'oignon. Wow. Onion soup in our way with some black truffle. It's a very traditional uh, dish from France, particularly from Paris. I have to say this is the most beautiful onion soup I've ever seen. We have the onion soup also when we celebrate, for example, for a wedding. You know, when, when you party and when you, you drink, drink a, little a little bit and then you need something consistent yeah. to, uh, <laughs> to come going. back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that, that's a tradition for the onion soup. Okay, amazing. Okay, okay. Thank enjoy. You. Merci beaucoup. This is really so gorgeous and I'm very excited. Mm. Oh my God. Delicious. Wow. Mm. The chicken broth is so rich and full of flavor and the truffle really mm. adds to it. This is delicious. I'd like to think of myself as a foodie. I think uh, a lot of my day revolves around thinking about my next meal. You know, when I was a kid, I wasn't really allowed to be picky. So actually I eat everything. I have tried brain, tried tongue, escargot. Actually frog's legs I haven't yet had, but I'm, I'm down. <laughs> well, Final thought is please don't take it away. Maybe I could get another one to go. <laughs> one of our signature dish, it's the mix of uh, tandoori, lobster, carrot and citrus. It's a dish that I have created after a trip in India. You will see. <laughs> I love it, thank you so much. Indian spices are some of my absolute favorite. Mmm. Mmm. So good. India is the most vibrant, beautiful place that I've ever been to and that I've experienced, so I, I can see why this came to be. Oh, my favorite French restaurants that I've been to. I really love uh, Le Servant in Paris, or Clamato. 
Except team I really want to go to. Oh, I love uh, Les Enfants du Marché. And actually there's a really good ice cream and natural wine place in Paris called uh, Fol de Rome, which is delicious as well. Yeah, if anybody needs to add them to your list, there you go. <laughs> the British version of the pâté en croûte, in fact. It's the Wellington with pigeon and foie gras inside uh, and served with some parsnip. On the side, you have the confit leg that you can take with your finger. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, this looks amazing. So I actually haven't had pigeon before. I'm ready to try anything. So I was, I was excited about it. I was like, all right, let's see what, what pigeon's got to give. Well, I don't think it's the same kind of pigeon as like the flying pigeons around Trafalgar Square or like around Paris. I hope not. Anyway. It's delicious. Everything that some people might be like, I don't want to try it, I'll try it. And if I like it, I'll finish it. I have like certain things, like certain flavors that I find quite intense, like celery. Weirdly. Yeah, other than that, I eat pretty much everything. Yeah, don't discriminate whatsoever. Mm. Mm. That's a Michelin star pigeon leg. Mm. 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 French cheese. Mm. This one is from Provence, the Rouelle. Then is the Croix de Qatar from the Pyrenees. And this one is the Ardigasna from my country, from the Basque country again. Of course, some herbs and salad, a cherry chutney. Wow. Either honey. And the bread, of course, with fruit inside. Mmm. J'aime beaucoup le fromage. So then you have the Valencé, it's like a pyramid with some hash around. Oh, it's so delicious. I feel like you should join me. We should be eating this together. <laughs> I would love. <laughs> the next one is Croix du Qatar. Yeah, this one's really, really creamy. I love that one. Next one is the Ardigasna, very famous uh, and from my country. And normally you heat it with the cherries on the side. And it's in a taco. It's, it's a little twist on how to serve the, the Ardigasna. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this in one go, but I'll try hard. I don't think so. Stop looking at me. Oh my god, this one's my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. It's so good. <laughs> me too. <laughs> wow. I'm starting to get full now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Big boy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So this one is chocolate and cumin. This one is a pavlova. It's a tradition in my country. It's the pastis gascon from Gasconi. I learned it from my grandmother, so very special for me. <laughs> this one is our baba signature dessert. And we have a little surprise because I've heard that you love one special cake. <gasps> the <laughs> it's, uh, yes. yes, this is unbelievable. So I think it's a special vintage that we've chosen. Oh, 1995! Yeah! yeah. my year! For a second I was like, whoa! So Armagnac is from Gascony, and my brother is a winemaker and he's making Armagnac. So, in place of the rum, enjoy! Thank you so much! Um, I have no idea where to begin. Freestyle, a little bit. You can definitely taste the, the Armagnac in this. This is really delicious. This is, it feels really nostalgic too, this flavor. Je ne sais pas, too many, too many options. Maybe I'll, I'll finish off with the chocolate. I think I have to leave after that and roll myself out of here. Mmm, mm, my God. Chocolate explosion. Last but not least, oh, no, no. our cannelé from Bordeaux. It's the little touch that we give to every guest before leaving. So you can, you can bring it home Thank and you. taste it tomorrow. Thank you. Merci okay. beaucoup. Merci de votre visite. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah! <rire> Merci beaucoup, Vogue. Euh, je dois partir. Je te laisse. À bientôt. Moi. Anecdotes. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Delicious. Oh my god. Mm. This is really good. <laughs>